Good evening, I'm Marla Carter. Thanks for joining us. Squaring off, it's Tulsa's former mayor versus the city's current mayor. And you will choose the person who will either take or retain that office in November. Two News reporter Max Resnick spent time with members of both Kathy Taylor's and Dewey Bartlett's campaigns and joins us now with a look at the lead up to the election. Max? Marla, the election is still more than three months away, and it probably feels that way as both campaigns have scaled back their advertising and their rhetoric during the summer. Now, come Labor Day, however, both camps say they're going to kick it into high gear in the hope of securing your vote. It is Dewey Bartlett versus Kathy Taylor in the race for Tulsa's next mayor, and both sides say they're confident they will win in November. We feel like we're in a pretty strong position. Not only did we finish first, uh, out of the three candidates, but a majority of people in this town very clearly said they want a new mayor. My expectations are that Tulsans are going to choose to keep the great momentum we have going and they're going to reelect Dewey Bartlett as mayor instead of going back to the past. The former mayor beat out the current mayor by eight points in the June primary, but it's the votes given to third place finisher Bill Christensen that might prove to be the difference in this race. They seem to align with a conservative style of government that, you know, Mayor Bartlett is using to, to improve Tulsa. So I, I think they, they will come over to us, and we are very confident about where we stand right now. But Anna America with Taylor's campaign says not so fast. She believes Christensen's base is complete with voters throughout the political spectrum. They don't feel that there's accountability. They don't feel there's been transparency. They don't really feel like they can trust what's happening in government. And I think they came to that from a wide range of positions. Christensen captured 23% of the vote in June. Both Taylor's and Bartlett's camps say they're focused on earning as many of those votes as they can. Now, on America tells me she really doesn't see any weaknesses in Kathy Taylor. Dan Patton with the Bartlett camp says electing Taylor would mean a step backwards for the city of Tulsa. Max Resnick, 2 News works for you.